Welcome back to another Trailby tutorial. I'm nearing the end of what I think I can teach you about Trailby. Hopefully you've been following along this tutorial and you're feeling pretty good about your abilities using this software. As you've seen, it can be an incredibly powerful tool, but it's also not overly complicated. Uh, before I close this series, I just want to show you a couple of tips and tricks that we haven't covered yet. The first is find and replace. So if we want to replace a certain word, like we replace this up and we want it to say down or something instead, we can just go to edit, find and replace. We just type in the word we want to have. So we say find the word up and anytime it's there, always say down. We go replace all and it says, okay, we found three instances where the word up was written and we replaced it with the word down, which in this script is probably gonna throw things off. But another example like woman, we could change that to lady or something or girl. You know, so sometimes you'll want to find a, a certain word and, and find and replace that. That function works pretty similar to how it would in any word processing software. Uh, just be aware that it'll go from wherever the cursor is. So you want to make sure your cursor's at the top of your script if you want it to replace everything down. If you only, only want to replace from a certain point, just wherever your cursor is is where that'll go. That's how find and replace is. Also, spell check works that way. So spell check is going to be pretty standard. It just goes through and looks for a misspelled word against your, your dictionary that you're using. Um, so there's spell check, which is pretty similar to any other word processing software as well. Something that's not similar is this name database. So you're not going to find that in most software. We have Miguel speaking right here. If we hit enter and we're, we're on to character, maybe we're writing a script from scratch and we want to find a, a new character name. We can go to tools, go to this name database, and it has like 32,000 German names and 25,000 Indian names and 20,000 Russian names we can choose from. So we can find all these different names and just like pick one out, or we could do a search. But when we find the name we want, and we can search for just male names, just female names, or both, we can say names that begin with uh, H that are a German name, and we can do search here and find just German names that begin with H. So we've got, you know, Hannah, Hannah Petra, and is that a German name? Han Hannes. So we want to do Hannes, the male name, and we go insert, and now we have that name. And it'll be a character in our script, so when we start typing in under uh, character H, it'll show up as a name that we can choose. Oops. Anyway, so that's a nice uh, name database. Not to be confused with character map. The character map actually has nothing to do with characters, at least actor characters. Instead, it's a literal like letter characters. But it's nice too. We can insert like this E here. We go to insert character, and it shows this E with the umlauts above it. So if we ever need a certain character, we can, um, you know, if we want to have this U, a, a certain type of special U here, we can insert that as well. We go to the U with the special symbol above it and go to insert character. Oh, did I do it twice? So that's kind of a nice feature too. Oh, what else here? We can compare scripts. If we had another version of a script, we can bring it in and we can compare. I guess we can compare these two against each other. And so we'll have some script errors on both of them. But it shows us, um, you know, certain lines have been d deleted from this version. Certain lines have been added in this version. So it kind of compares and shows us the differences. Like, look, this one has Thor and Tom and Bill, but this one has this. So we're comparing two completely separate scripts. But if you have two versions of the same script, this can be really useful to see changes between version one and version two and how different it is. That can be really nice. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's really about it. So hopefully you're enjoying playing with Trailby. Um, it can be really cool and a really great software. It may not have all the same functionality. Um, a lot of the bigger script writing screenplay software have a huge emphasis for productivity. So you can create maps, like scene maps, and then you can use that data in like your project, uh, your different project planning and calendar and management. They just kind of add on tools. But as far as just the actual script goes, if you want to write a script, print it out on paper and hand it to someone, Trailby has all the functionality you would need to do that. And so hopefully you've uh, found this informative and it's met the needs of your script writing. Um, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying, uh, you know, paying 30 or 40 or 50 bucks or a 5 or $10 a month subscription for a screen, special screenwriting software. I would recommend starting with Trailby, using it, and it's probably going to meet all of the needs that you have for writing scripts and screenplay for the time being. And at least you'll know what features it doesn't have once you get in and start writing scripts. But uh, like I said, I think it's going to work for you. 
go ahead and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments you have below. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. I go over uh, video editing software and free music creation and free uh, art uh, creation software in this channel. And so I hope you check those out. But uh, thanks for staying with me on this tutorial and look forward to seeing you in future videos.